All right, this is exciting. The uh, coyote is going to walk out onto this tightrope and drop the anvil onto the roadrunner and create his lunch. It's a foolproof plan. What he forgets is that because the anvil has a great deal of weight, when he walks out onto the string, that weight, because of gravity, stretches the wire. It uh, does work on it. The work is going to be equal to the force times distance. In this case, the force is the weight of the coyote plus the weight of the anvil. So let's make up some amount of uh, work. We'll say uh, the coyote is uh, 100 newtons and the anvil is another 100 newtons. So he's got 200 newtons of force and it acts through a certain distance, uh, some y distance, I don't know, let's make up something, let's say uh, 20 meters. So when he walks out there, in fact, 4,000 joules of work have been done to stretch that string. And then when he uh, releases the anvil, now all of a sudden there's only um, uh, uh, there's less weight. The, the, the string isn't going to be stretched as much. It's going to return to some other position and it's going to do so relatively quickly. And when it does so, it's going to uh, uh, shoot him up in the air. Now here's what's going to happen. You did a certain amount of work on this system. Let's say the work is equal to 4,000 joules. So he stretched out the string. It now has some stored energy. It has potential energy stored in it. And using the work energy theorem, the amount of work done is equal to the energy that's stored in it. Of course, we're ignoring friction, which uh, they do quite a bit in these cartoons. So he's got 4,000 joules of um, potential energy stored in him. Now he drops the anvil which means he's lost half of his weight, and so he starts shooting back up. Well, if all things were considered, uh, he should only be able to go to his original height. He and the anvil had a certain amount of weight. It stretched the string out a certain amount. And then if we move him back up, if we use the string to move him back up to his uh, location, he'd be back to his location. But uh, we're leaving the anvil on the ground. So now we're only moving him up. Well, his potential energy at that point would be equal to 100 newtons times the 20 meters. So his potential energy all by himself is only 2,000 joules. Well, at the bottom we had 4,000 joules of energy stored. We get back up to this position and now it's only 2,000 joules. Hmm, what's going to happen? Well, we've got an additional 2,000 joules that's going to turn into kinetic energy. He's going to be moving. He's going to get shot in the air. So his kinetic energy is 2,000 joules. And kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared, 2 times kinetic energy, divided by m. Take the square root of it. That's going to be equal to his new velocity. See if you can't figure out what his velocity is at that point.